Okay, today we're going to be looking at converting open office documents to plain text. Uh, we've done previous videos on doing this sort of thing with Microsoft Office documents. Uh, and we're just going to show you how to do it with OD files, open document files. Uh, and we're going to work with uh, ODT, ODS, and ODP. That's ODT for text, which are Word documents, ODS, which is S for spreadsheets, and ODP for presentations, open document presentations. Let's start off with, well, let's first start off talking about the application we're going to use. It's going to be called, uh, it's in a package, so I'm going to use Aptitude, but look in your package manager uh, for an application called ODT2TXT. Uh, when you find that, you can see I already have it installed, indicated by this I that Aptitude informs me it's already installed. But ODT2TXT will install a few uh, applications. If we go ODT and we hit tab a few times, I'm sorry, OD and hit tab a few times, you can see that we have ODP2TXT, ODS2TXT, and ODT2TXT. And those are the three programs that are installed with that package that we're going to be working with today. So now that we've got that clear, go ahead and install that if you don't have it installed. Here's a very simple Word document I created. I gave it a little bit of formatting, some bold text and centered stuff to show you that since we're converting to plain text, we're going to lose all our formatting. All we're going to get is the text from within the file. So I saved this file as TX, or sorry, test.odt. If I come back to my terminal here, I can list out, you can see I have three files. This is the one that we were just looking at right here. And if I do odt to txt and then the name of that file and hit enter, you can see it displays all the text that is inside that Word document. This is my document, this is my text, some more text, and even more text, convert me. And you can see all that text here. And as once again, you lose all formatting because we're going to a plain text format. Now this is useful if you need to just grab information from a document for a script possibly. That's what I would use it for. Uh, if you need a little more information on what's going on inside that document, you can add a switch to this, dash dash raw, which will actually give you the XML output to this. So it has all the tags for all the formatting. And uh, you may be able to do more with that. But for the most part, I would leave that raw out for uh, things I would use it for, because I would just be, in most cases, looking for some text inside a Word document. Um, but it all depends on what you're trying to accomplish. Next, let's move on and look at spreadsheets. Here's a very simple spreadsheet I created. Once again, we're going to lose all formatting, but if I just need to grab all the text from this document, I saved it as test.ods for spreadsheet. I come over here and do ods to txt, so converting spreadsheet to text, and then the name of the file, test.ods ods in this case, I'll hit enter, and once again you can see you lose all formatting but you get all the text from every cell inside that document. And once again just like the Word document you can do raw and get the XML output if you need that extra information. And next we're going to look at presentations. I have a three slide presentation that I just threw some random information into. And if I come in here I can do ODP for presentation to txt, so converting it to text, and once again, the name of the file. And you can see that it grabbed all the information from all the slides and just outputted it as plain text, which you can grab through, cut through, do whatever you need to find what you're looking for. And just like all the other ones, you can do raw and get the XML output. So once again, this is uh, something that's uh, very useful in many cases. If you just need to search through, find text, grab text from these sort of documents, uh, but once, obviously, once again, you're going to lose all formatting if you just do the plain text. Uh, well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, this is a uh, Terminal Tuesday, as we're going to be calling them, uh, and we'll have command line stuff, terminal stuff on Tuesdays from here on out, if I can keep with the schedule. Please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Uh, there's links in the description to that, and also my new fan book, uh, fan book, Facebook fan page. Uh, if you are a Facebook user, go ahead and over there and like our fan book page. Fan book, I keep saying that. Facebook fan page. Also, um, please visit the links in the description, and I hope that you have a great day.